it's not necessarily a big, tall, crunchy, fluffy waffle. It's a little bit more dense and almost kind of chewy. And the reason why that is, is because you take these eggs, five of them actually, and you whip them in the blender with sugar, and that's where you're getting your volume. So you need to get them in there, and you need to let it go uh, even a little bit longer than you might think, maybe five to eight minutes, and sometimes even a little bit longer than that. A half a cup of sugar, get that right in with the eggs, close it down, Make sure you have this firm, and then just put it on to whip. And I'm just gonna let this go. Maybe another up. Just let it go, leave it alone, and now I'll get the dry ingredients going. So, I have one cup of flour, a teaspoon of salt, and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then all you do is just whisk it together sort of making sure that all of the spices are evenly distributed throughout the flour. I mean, the reason I learned to make waffles is because where I live in the city, one of the first things you can do with your kids when they're even in the stroller is go out to the street fair. And at every street fair, there's a waffle maker. And that seems to be one thing they always get is a waffle with a big pile of whipped cream and maybe some berries or something like that. So I started making waffles at home and for dinner time, you can put anything on them. And actually, if you want to, you can even turn a waffle savory. There's nothing like waffles with fried chicken and a little gravy. All right, so I gotta look over here. I think this is exactly what I want from my eggs. Now, can you believe that the eggs and the sugar turned into this? I mean, it is an entirely different thing, almost on the way to being sort of like meringue. So there we go, you can take a look and see. Now what this does is you start with half your dry ingredients. So I'm just gonna kind of dump half of my dry ingredients in there. A cup of sour cream, which is half of this container. So I'll just eyeball it a little bit. And then fold it gently in. You just kind of don't want to deflate. Remember, we've got all this time making this beautiful batter here. So we don't want to deflate it too much. So we'll just make sure that we go in, fold around, but you really need to make sure you distribute everything in here. So that looks pretty good. I'm gonna put the rest of the flour in and about a half a stick of butter. And that is the whole recipe. So again, I'm just taking this and just gently folding it in, kind of cutting through the middle, folding it, cutting and folding and trying to keep this beautiful batter that we took time doing. Now when you do this at home, if anything, I'd go a little bit longer than you think when you're blending. Not less time, because you need to get this beautiful batter. This is your only leavener in these waffles. You don't have baking powder, baking soda. Almost done here. My tomato sauce is simmering away. I got two crazy different smells going on here. One savory, one sweet, both breakfast for dinner. We're gonna finish this up and get these all cooked. All right, that's great. Now I have my batter here. And a good spoonful of batter, you can see that it's rested for about 10 minutes, and that just allows the, um, everything, the batter to rest, and it'll make it you know, a little bit more bubbly and puffy so that when it goes in, it'll be thick. So we have this on a cookie sheet, actually, because sometimes your batter comes flying out the side, not always, but sometimes. So you want to make sure that you have, you know, not making more of a mess for yourself than you need. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit more in this one. Ah, maybe this one too. Okay. Oh, it's my lucky day. And it smells, I can smell a little bit of cinnamon. I can smell that toasted egginess. And I am just going to lift the whole thing right out and get this into the oven so you can see what I mean about the way these waffles are supposed to look when they're really well cooked. Thanks for watching. Hungry for more? Click here for more great recipes and to subscribe, click here. Check back every week for more craveable recipes, leave a comment and tell me what you think. And don't forget, head over to our other channels for Everyday Food with Sarah Carey, Martha Stewart Weddings and the Martha Stewart Channel.